Hi, my name is Joanne Marcinek, and today we're going to talk about how to add a Facebook button to your website. There's several different kinds of Facebook buttons that are available. From this page on the Facebook developers uh, section, there is uh, the like button, an activity feed, recommendations, the like box, a login button, the face pile, live stream, and comments. Each of these plugins has its place uh, and use on um, blogs and websites. I personally think that the like button, this little guy, belongs best on uh, blogs and um, posts. The like box is best suited to putting on a website and you can customize this by, hang on, I'm going to copy my URL that I'm going to use. You can customize this by changing the color scheme, showing or not showing faces, showing or not showing the stream, and showing or not showing a header. In each case, as you customize it, once you've found the look that you like, you click on Get Code, and you can copy either one of these types of code. I actually prefer the iframe, so you can uh, highlight the code, use your right mouse button, click copy, and then paste that onto your website. But for many people, having all of this information, um, even if you remove some of the options and try to change the sizing, um, may not be what you're looking for. You may be something interested in something like just a simple Facebook button, a Facebook icon that says find us on Facebook. So what I did was I went to Google and I searched on Google Images for Facebook icons and it brought up all these different kinds of icons. At first I got a little bit concerned because uh, having just written a hub about the use of images and not violating anybody's copyright, I got concerned that taking one of these images, as you'll see if you click on one of the images over here, you get the warning this image may be subject to copyright. So it may not be an image that you can legally use on your website. So I did a little bit of research. I found that there are some free for personal and commercial use icons available. Uh, I also looked onto Wikipedia for fair use on the internet. And this article here talks a bit about um, using thumbnails or low resolution images to lead people to another website or to another image and it was determined that that is considered fair use. So um, what I did was I found one of the icons that I liked on this page. I'm not even really sure where it is but I did find one that I like and I saved it onto my hard drive. Then I went over to Dreamweaver onto the page where I wanted to install it and I just simply added that image to my website and in the link text I put the link that I want it to go to. So now when you see this page live you'll see that there's a find us on Facebook button that you can click and go right to the Facebook page. In subsequent hubs I will cover how to add the like button to your blogger blog which I think is a good way to use this little like button uh, because what it does is it adds the link to whatever article 
you click like on to your Facebook news feed. So that article uh, shows up in the likes and interests section and also shows up on your news feed shortly after you click the like button. So today we've covered how to add a Facebook button to your website. I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.